Daniel Sweet, an unassuming gas station attendant from Rahway, New Jersey, serving a life sentence for the murders of 17 young, beautiful white women, convicted by the press, the public, and his own alleged confession long before he could stand trial. Daniel's story faded from the headlines, but the question still remains. Did he do it? Yep, I did it. I killed them. All of them. My special little ladies. <laughs> Met him at the gas station, I followed him home, chopped him up, and buried him. I have a dark and insatiable evil inside me. Yeah, look, uh, at, look at You want to look at me? Um, that drove me to kill. And I would definitely, definitely do it again. <laughs> oh, definitely. Daniel maintains his guilt to this day. But I wasn't convinced. I needed answers to questions about the case. I had to ask people to find out. We had nothing before Daniel came forward. 17 cases of missing persons over a period of several years, but no way of connecting the victims. Truth be told, none of us thought the disappearances were related. But then Daniel calls us saying, I did it. Here, come with me. I'll show you the bodies. I asked Sheriff Boykin if, during the investigation, he ever once questioned if Daniel might be innocent. Nobody did. It was an open and shut case. What is a confession? What is evidence? Is the signed, written statement of a man the court-appointed psychiatrist labeled murderously insane really admissible? Did another, less compelling person actually kill all these people? Will Daniel Sweet have to spend the rest of his days in prison for crimes I'm pretty sure he might not have committed? I have so many questions. I'm a journalist. Nobody thought he was innocent. Not for one second. And how could you? He said, I did it. Here are the bodies. Here is a detailed diary about how I did the killings. Did you believe the cops uh, treated Daniel fairly? Are you kidding? The cops had it in for him. Because he did it. I love prison. I'm better off in here. I, I have friends. I, I never had friends when I was out there killing. Sometimes my victims, when they were pleading for their lives, their voices echoing uselessly into the void. Oh, <laughs> I thought we had something, you know? Well, something special. A little moment, just the two of us. But then I'd go and do that thing, you know, makes me feel like God. And I would... Oh, God. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah? You know, maybe you can uh, work with me a little bit here. Are you fucking deaf, lady? Are you deaf? I told you I did it, all right? And, and frankly, this interview is offensive to the families of the people I butchered, okay? My special little ladies. Get it out. Please don't touch me. Please Get stop. It. No! God. What if this is... I guess I got my work cut out for me. Another juicy murder case. Another grave injustice. The system doesn't work. It's broken. Uh, each one was special to me, and, uh, you know, chopping up bodies. Pulling their teeth out. I actually make some really nice jewelry. You jewelry? Yeah, out of the teeth. All I can say is that he was a creepy baby. My sister and I would just puke. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, me and my boys heard that you trying to get innocent men out of prison. I was smoking a joint and I got 20 years. I didn't even roll it. 